If your knees hurt when you run, let me give you three exercises that you can do daily that won't take more than three minutes of your time. Not only that, but I'll give you different levels for each exercise depending on your pain and you only need to do those until the pain resolves. But before that, please make an appointment with a healthcare specialist who can help you differentiate between all the different possible causes of knee pain, such as patella tendonitis or IT band syndrome, but more importantly to find the root cause of your overuse injury, whether it's asymmetries or compensations or other causes. With that out of the way, let's dig in. Do bridges, I've got three levels for you. First off, both feet on the floor, hands on the ground, engage your core. This is to teach your body how to stabilize your pelvis using the back muscles and the front muscles. So squeeze the glutes, engage the belly, lift up. This would be the first level to try and strengthen a little bit of quadriceps and stabilize your pelvis. Once you're comfortable with that and hasn't caused any knee pain during the exercise or after the exercise, put your feet together, lift the pelvis up, and as you lift up, open your knees 45 degrees. You should feel a nice squeeze in the gluteal area, still engaging your belly muscles. So again, up, up. Final level, and you're doing this on one leg. The other leg is straight and in line with your body. Engage your core, engage your glutes, lift up. Make sure at the top, there's no pelvic tilt in that direction. That would mean weakness on the moving leg. And then change sides. You can do all those movements daily so long as they don't hurt and do them in the order that I give you. Next up, ah, ah, the floor is hot. Next up, we've got step ups. Get yourself into a mini lunge position. Engage your glute of the front leg and slowly bring the knee up and back in. So long as this front knee doesn't hurt, let me show you from the front. Changing leg, mini lunge. Drive the back leg up, straighten the leg on the floor up as well. So knee, bend your knee just as deep as you feel comfortable. You don't need to go all the way down. So here, no pain, good to go. Engage the glutes, drive the knee forward. If you want to level up this exercise, all you need to do is find yourself a step. Same mini lunge position. Drive the back leg forward and up, and back down. Switching legs just to show you. Up and down. So as I go up, I make sure I'm squeezing the glute. Also really important, make sure that you have a good alignment of the ankle, the knee, and the hip. Don't let your foot go in, sorry. Don't let your knee go in or out as you drive the opposite knee up. Avoid this, very common pattern. If you wanna level that up one step more, just all you need to do is add a hop to the exercise. So change the camera angle right here, step up and add a hop. You don't need to jump too high for this. This is just to engage the posterior chain, your calf, and the rest of it, up. This is not to find out how high you can jump. Just because sometimes high impact is not great for the knees. Although as a runner, you should train for it. The last movement we're going to do is going to help you as well control your hip, your pelvis. Just remember that knee pain often doesn't come from a knee problem, but comes more from a hip issue that's not stable or an ankle and foot issue. Maybe you have fallen arches, flat feet, or an unstable ankle. So to fix knee problems, think about fixing the hip, fixing the ankle, or the foot. You can check out the foot core video. I think it's up there. All right, so lying on your side, you want the bottom leg bent just for stability. This is burning my leg. <laughs> Grab the ankle of the top leg. Ow. Let me see. <laughs> burns too. All right, so from here, you want your knee perfectly horizontal. You don't want a knee that drops or goes towards the sky. Knee horizontal, you want to drive that knee backwards and engage your core muscles until you feel a nice stretch in the quadriceps. And what's important here is these muscles need to be engaged in the core so that you're not arching your lower back. Because then, sure, you'll reach back further, but there'll be no stretch. So again, Moving the knee horizontally, engaging the core muscles to stabilize the pelvis. Drive the knee as far back as you can until you feel a good stretch and then back. You want to go through that range of motion. There's no need to hold and stretch. All these exercises for about one minute. If there's two sides to do, then 30 seconds each side. Easy to count. 
Now, once you've gone through a couple of weeks of this and your pain has reduced, you're probably ready to do something a little bit more thorough. You probably want to work on your asymmetries. And if you think that you've got IT band syndrome, then check out that video for the next step. And I'll see you there after you like this video. A bientôt.